burning more calories than you're consuming. That means you have to be super intentional with what you're putting in your body, what you're eating. If you're someone who just loves to eat junk food all the time, you really just love to overeat, that's like your thing, you're not worried about it, that's gonna be an issue. You need to actually be moving your body, like doing cardio, like jumping up and down, running, getting on the bike, walking. You know, my favorite thing is, my, my room is a little messy, but the salt bike, the air bike is amazing. It's what I've used for the last five, no, sorry, six years. I got my, let me actually show you guys my air bike. This thing right here, if there's one thing, if there's one thing that I will influence you to buy, it's that bike. Like, I think everyone should keep one of those in the tuck. Like, if you are concerned about getting like a Peloton or anything, like I recommend a Schwinn 87 air bike. That bike burns fat so well and so quickly. Like, it's not even fair. Like, let me tell you guys a story. So, at... In 2018, I had gained some weight. Like I had gained, I was like going through like a, a dark time, I would say. And I just was not working out as much. And I gained like 20 pounds. I was about 160. And at that point, I was just super unhappy with the weight. I was not feeling comfortable. I wasn't feeling confident. I wasn't feeling like myself. Like my butt was like huge, but I just really didn't like the fat on my face, like my stomach. Um, I just wasn't happy. Um, I still had like some type of ab, but it was just like too much for me. So I wanted to cut down. So what I did was I would go to the gym and I would get on the stationary bike and I would be on that thing for 30 minutes. When I tell you the, the weight would not come off, I'm just like, why? Like, why? Then I started doing some research and I was like, what are the best cardio machines? Like, what actually works? And of course, number one is a treadmill. So if you have a treadmill in your house, like you're good. Or if you go to the treadmill in the gym, you're great, right? And then number two was, I'm pretty sure it was an air bike, an assault bike. And I was just like, okay, I don't want to get a treadmill in my apartment. I live in Brooklyn, but this bike seems pretty good. So then I did a bunch of research to find like the best brand of bike. Um, and of course, like if you go to CrossFit, then you see a lot of like rogue bikes, but I started doing some research and I saw the Schwinn and I saw like some amazing reviews of the Schwinn 87 and I bought that bike. And when I saw you've had it for six years, like no issues, this bike is amazing. Like when I tell you, when every time I just want to do a cut, I just go to the next room in my apartment and I get on that air bike for 20 minutes a day. And I just cut like the amount of calories I'm eating. I just, I'm a intuitive eater for the most part. I just, I'm really into my body. I know how much I should eat, what I should eat. Like that's just like, cause I've been doing this for so long. So I just do that. And like the fat just melts off. Like right now I'm doing a bulk and like when I need to bulk, I really have to like slow down with working out cause I just lose weight super fast. Um, So I'm doing a bulk. I want to be about 155. This is like one. 50 on me but yeah that bike is amazing 10 out of 10 recommend like i always want one of these in my house if they make new ones i will buy the new one like schwinn i am loyal to y'all like that is y'all are amazing people y'all are amazing amazing product you guys are changing lives changing lives all right so to say that you should be doing your cardio at least four to five times a week if you're trying to cut fat and you should be giving at least like 20 to 45 minutes depending on what machine you're on or what you're doing if you're jump roping outside if you're walking like if you're walking slowly of course you're not going to burn as much calories but you will burn calories and if you're jogging you'll probably burn more calories so it depends on what you're doing how long you should actually do it um so you want to be consistent second of all consistency is not easy but it is essential for any type of fitness goal like you have to be consistent in what you're doing like there is no if ands or buts and you just really should be intentional with your eating i'm going to give you guys a tip if you're not someone who has like um a scale at home um i would do like two cups of veggies like if you have like a baking cup two cups of veggies 
like one cup of a grain, like whether that's pasta or that's rice. Or if you make a pasta, put a bunch of veggies in your pasta as well. And then like one piece of meat, like that's it. It doesn't have to be rocket science, but like the little snacks, keep the juice out your house. If you're thirsty, drink water. Like that makes a big difference. Like one cut glass of juice sometimes has 240 calories, a bunch of sugar, high fructose corn syrup. Like what are we doing? You like... When I tell you cutting out those sugary drinks and just sugar in general when I was about 20 and I'm 30 now changed my life. Like it made such a huge difference. Like I can't even stress it enough. So you want to cut out those sugary drinks, like have rules for yourself. I'm not going to eat candy. I'm not going to eat cake. I'm not going to keep this in the house. And someone asked me today on Twitter, like how do you make sure that you don't just binge that stuff like after you cut it out and i'm just like all it takes for me now knowing what's in food wanting to live long like i'm not like just physical health i want to grow old i just start reading ingredients and what i'm about to buy and that's enough to make me put something down once i start reading something and it's just like looks crazy or i just know it's just super unhealthy and it's something that i can easily make myself if i really wanted it with simple ingredients why am I buying this? Why am I putting this in my body? I love myself. Why would I put that in my body? I'm not doing it. So that's all it takes for me to be like, I'm good. So to sum this up, you want to be consistent with your cardio. Also, you should be lifting. You want to be intentional with your eating. You want to, if you eat intuitively, make sure that you are being consistent with your healthy eating. You want to just stop buying the junk food. Don't keep it in the house. If you want a, a burger, I know Uber Eats, but if you want like a, a cupcake, you would have to get up, get your car keys, go to Walmart and go get a cupcake. You want it that bad? I don't think so. And then when you get to Walmart, sit there and read what's in that cupcake that you